The month of January has been anything but easy for the Scarlet Knights as they have faced four ranked Big Ten opponents in seven total matches. However, facing the top competition in the nation has not phased wrestlers Anthony Ashnault, who's ranked ninth in the nation, and Ken Theobald, who's ranked 17th in the nation. A leader, to me, just leads by example and does all the things, does everything on and off the mat, right? And uh, in the sport, I try, I try to work as hard as I can, 110%, 200% every day. Upset! <laughs> This is a hornet's nest. Wins. Rutgers goes ahead of the Hawkeyes. You feel more comfortable as you get more matches under your belt, and uh, you know, and that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, I feel comfortable. You know, weight is good. Um, everything's just working out pretty good. And I'm just taking that, uh, you know, confidence and building with it. There they are, and what a way to answer Ken Theobald with the fall, six points on the board. They're definitely emerging as leaders on the mat. And, uh, and they're showing these guys that they can compete at the highest level and they're showing them they can wrestle with anybody in the country when they go out there and put their foot on the line and, and, and ready to battle when they, when they do that. Uh, Big Ten is the best wrestling conference in the nation, so every time I get out there and I can wrestle another Big Ten team and get a win, I feel great about it and I know uh, the team feels great about it. Any Big Ten win is a good win and uh, you know, seating wise it's, it's going to do good for my seating and uh, I think you know, having a good seat can help you uh, further yourself to NCAA. Every time I come in here every day, coaches are reminding me what it takes to be like a national champ and to be a national champ, you kind of got to fit in that leadership role. These guys coming into the second half of our Big Ten schedule with uh, Ohio State coming up and Northwestern coming up and Wisconsin coming up, I think they're definitely going to be battle, battle tested and prepared you know, come those dates. I really got to pride myself on finishing matches and get the job done when it counts and that's getting my hand raised at the end of the match after the seven minutes, which I got to get done. After their last match of the month against Navy, Rutgers will enter their final stretch of Big Ten duels on February 1st at the College Ave Gym against Ohio State. And with a bit of a lighter month coming up, Rutgers will look to regain their composure and prepare for the Big Ten tournament coming up in March. Reporting from the College Ave Gym, I'm TJ Curran.